Korea's election and the start of a new administration has been top news around the world yesterday and today. Front and center were President Moon's policies related to North Korea and what approach he'll take diplomatically with South Korea's important neighbors and allies. Lee ji -won tells us more. The eyes of the world were on Korea's presidential election, major news outlets reporting the lead-up to the vote, and were straight on top of the official results. CNN gave significant coverage to President Moon's win and the election itself, from the corruption scandal and impeachment that led to it, to an analysis of Moon and his policies. Noting that Moon has been a strong proponent of the Sunshine Policy, Referring to the late President Do Muyan's attempt to improve relations with the North, CNN hinted a possible easing of tensions on the peninsula. USA Today also pointed out Moon's support for that policy and the possibility of discord between Seoul and Washington over how to deal with North Korea. Wall Street Journal took a more critical note about Moon's willingness to talk to the North. Japanese media called the election a regime change after nine years of conservative rule, but many also raised concerns that ties between South Korea and Japan could become further strained. NHK mentioned Moon had pledged during the campaign to renegotiate the deal reached in 2015 over Tokyo's historic wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. NHK said that would make ties worse. The Asahi Shimbun also pointed that Moon could bring up historical issues with Japan and that he could take a hardline stance on them to earn support from the South Korean media. Chinese outlets have devoted a significant time to reporting on Korea's new leader, expressing hope for a better future between the two. Moon's election was top news on CCTV Wednesday morning, followed by detailed analysis of Moon's policies on denuclearization of North Korea, which include dialogue. A state-run news website said Moon is someone to take seriously and that it expects the new administration to send a special group to China to resolve the two countries' dispute over THAAD. The BBC and France 24 focus on Moon's denuclearization policies and the possible changes he could bring to the Korean peninsula. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.